Hey, beauty friends. Welcome back to my channel, honey. Yay. The first episode of Beauty Talk. Yes. So, I hope you all caught my intro video to Beauty Talk every morning. Now, I'm not going to. Okay, let me go back. Originally, I was going to do every morning. But I decided that I might do every other morning because every morning might be too much pressure on me. Um, so I'm gonna bring you beauty talk at least two to three times a week. So I'm not gonna dedicate every morning or commit to every morning. Some mornings might you might some weeks you might get a beauty talk every morning, but for the most part, I'm gonna make sure I do it either two to three times a morning. So this is episode one of Beauty Talk. If you are coming back to my channel, hey, I've been looking for you, honey. Where you been? First of all, before we get started, I need you to like this video. Like this video right now, because you already know it's going to be great. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, honey, what you waiting on? This is Beauty Pasha. Honey, ain't nobody better than Beauty Pasha. Subscribe to my channel right now. All right, let's get started with this beauty talk. All right, so today's beauty talk is about manifesting things in your life. Now, this is going to go into a story time because a lot of people don't believe in manifesting. I'm one of those people that believe in manifesting because things that I have said out loud have actually happened to me. So I'm going to go into a story that I did. Earlier last year, my house caught on, my condominium caught on fire in like April or May. So I put a story time or I put like an update video on my channel. You can find that that video somewhere on my channel. And it's just telling you about my experience with my house catching on fly, fire. Once my uh, condominium caught on fire, I was relocated to Kenosha, Wisconsin. And I pretty much lived the rest of my life in Kenosha, Wisconsin for until like maybe like August or September. Yeah, like August or September. So during the time that I was in Kenosha, a lot of my family members was like, where you gonna go? You should come to the suburbs. You should come to the east side. You should come to the west side. I live in Chicago. So let's start there. So certain parts of Chicago, I just never thought about living in because they they just aren't my cup of tea. I always lived in good parts of Chicago as I locked my doors. <laughs> but I already knew in my mind that I could not move far away from my job. So my office was only about a five to 10 minute ride from my condominium that caught on fire. So it was the ideal uh, distance. I lived in an area where it's tons of stores in my area. So with me being a couponer, I needed to be in an area where it's easy for me to get to the stores. If it's any run deals, if it's any deals that I need to get to, I need to get there and start doing deals for my Blowing Coupons channel. So the area that I'm living in was the ideal area. Everything that I needed is right in this particular area. And it's a prime part of Chicago. So there's really no violence or nothing. So I... um in turn would listen to people that wanted me to move into maybe the areas that they lived in but in my mind i already knew where i wanted to go i wanted to go back to my same area so about august july i'm gonna say about july i was sitting in the car and i said now manifesting if you don't know what manifesting is you pretty much put it in the atmosphere so whatever it is that you want to come to life or come true you pretty much put it out in the atmosphere in reality you're really talking to your god so whatever god it is you you believe in or whatever it is that you believe in you're really just talking to that person or to god so for me i believe in god so most of the time when I manifest, I might say, God, I want to do this or God, I want to do that. Or I might just say, I want to do this. I want to do that. And that's just me putting it out in the atmosphere. So while I was in Kenosha, after I came out of my depression, I started to figure out like, okay, what I'm going to do. I know I'm not going to live in Kenosha for the rest of my life. Like I'm about to, I got to get back because my clients are in Chicago. So I was sitting in my car and I said, God, I want to move back to the same area that I was just in. I want me to be no more than five to 10 minutes from my place of uh, employment 
and I want to stay in that same area. I don't want to go far. I don't want my commute to be far because in Chicago we have horrible winters. We have we have we have had a, a good winter this this year actually. We have had a we have a, we had a good winter for Chicago. So that's just a good thing, but most of the time we have horrible winters. So the commute a 20 minute commute can maybe turn into a 40 or an hour commute if the traffic is bad or if we having a bad winter storm or something. So for me during tax season, I don't want to have to be stressed out about driving in traffic. So I put that out in the atmosphere. God, I want to move back into the same area. You know, I, I want to find a, a house or apartment in that same area. About August, I started to look, and the places I was looking at, they were okay, and they weren't really on nothing, you know, to be honest. So, I was looking and looking and looking, and I couldn't really find nothing in this area. And one morning, I woke up, and I got back on the internet like I usually do. I'm scrolling through rent.com, apartment.com, just on the internet, going through different sites and looking at apartments. And up came this two-bedroom apartment in the same area so at first i was like am i looking at this right so i looked at it again i'm like and it was in my budget y'all it was in my budget are y'all listening to me in the area in my budget and i wanted a two-bedroom because i wanted my second bedroom to be like either a closet or like my work room because i you know I, I had already started amazon in kenosha i called the landlord or the number listed and a guy answered the phone right away i said is the place on blah 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 still available and he goes yeah it's still available he said um and he started describing what's in the place i said the first thing i said does it have central air because in my condominium i had an ac window in an ac unit just in the window in the living room and i hated that my condominium didn't have central air so i said do it got central air he said it don't got sensual, but guess what? He said this lady just moved out to my other apartment on the like not even a block away from this apartment. And if you give me some time, it'll be ready. And it has sensual. When he said that, I almost fell out. Like the man was telling me, in essence soon as she get out we'll fix this apartment up for you and this is what you can have this apartment that's it, like that he said he hadn't even listed it yet because the lady had just moved out maybe like three days before so i said okay so days months went by they did a background check they did all the little normal things and he called me about four weeks later he called me and he said your apartment is ready he said, your apartment ready. Just like that. And it was in the same area that I wanted to be at. The same amount of distance. I mean, I probably was maybe like five minutes from my job. Now I'm probably just like 10 minutes from my job. And I manifested me being in the same area that I originally was in. So, manifest what you want in life. Because sometimes I sit, and, and a lot of people be like, how did you find an apartment in the same area that you was in? I said, I don't know, I manifested. They said, well, you know, you was always saying that. Because when you manifest something, it's almost unreachable what you, you're manifesting. When you manifest something, if somebody hears that, they're going to be like, like a lot of people say, like, how you gonna find a house in the same area that what you was in? And I'm like, I don't know, but that's where I wanna be at. That's where I wanna be at. And my cousins and my family was like, wow, you actually found an apartment in the same area that you lived in. And I did. So manifest what you want in life. I believe, and that's not the only thing that came true for me when I put it out in the atmosphere. So whatever it is that you want in 2022 or in 2023, 2024, anything that you want, manifest it. I feel like it really doesn't come to life unless you put it out in the atmosphere. So my beauty friends, this is what I want y'all to do. On this video, in the comments, 
I want you to put in the comments how much money you want to end the year with. So going into 2023, how much money do you want to have in your bank account, in your savings account, your checking account, any account, your stocks and bonds account, I don't know, your, in your stocks account, whatever account it is, how much money do you want to have in that account before 2022 is over with? Put it in the comments below because I'm a believer if you don't say it out loud or write it down or put it in the comments on a YouTube video, it's not real. And I'm just being honest, it's really not real until you put it out in the atmosphere. If you keep it inside and don't let it come out, it's just it just it just isn't real. So manifest how much money you want to have in your bank account by 2023. Now, this um I'm going to actually do a manifest manifestation video every week. So it's going to be manifestation Mondays. So on Mondays we're going to manifest what we want um and we're going to put it in the comments. So every week is going to be a different topic. This week is about money. Because I feel like to get to your goal, you need to start at the beginning of the year and then work on your goal all the way throughout the year. By the time the end of the year is here, if you manifest what you want to do, you will have that money in your bank account. You will have it. Manifest what you want and watch it come true. All right, that's the end of my video, beauty friends. I will talk to y'all in the next beauty talk. It might be in the morning. If not, let me tell y'all my schedule. So, manifest Monday. I'm probably going to do a win, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's my, that's my schedule so far. So, I think I'm going to do the beauty talk on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's my schedule. So, today is Wednesday. If I don't come back on camera for Thursday, I'll be back on Friday for beauty talk. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion, and I'm out.